Hello everyone, today we will be starting our animal mashups in Photoshop. If you're looking for some inspiration, you can go to Google Images, search for Animal Mashup, and you can find all kinds of different images that people have tried mashing together. And you'll definitely see some things that work well and some things that don't work as well. One thing I will point out is that you're going to need to find some sort of similarity between your two animals, whether that's by color or maybe texture, you're going to need something that's similar. If you see here, we've got maybe the head of a baboon, I think, and some kind of bird, but they're very similar in color, so it made for a really pretty easy mashup to create. Similarly here, like fish scales are very different looking than cat fur, but because the coloring is similar enough, you can make a pretty realistic image here. If you look at some of the others, like we see like maybe this turtle head with some part of a, a flamingo, I think, green scales are just so different looking than pink feathers that it really makes it difficult to try to make a blend of this sort. And you'll see, it just makes it much more difficult if you don't have some sort of similarity between color and texture. But when you are ready to search for your images, we've done that before, I'm just going to pull up Google Images again. Some people have found that they have found a really nice picture that they like the look of, but when they get into Photoshop, they find out that the image is actually really small and it becomes really pixelated when you try to zoom in or do anything with it. I want to show you, if I'm looking for an owl here, I have a new tool. If I go under tools here, I can actually look under size and I can search by large size. That way I know all of these images that I'm finding here are big file images. So what that means is I can look through, if I click on one, I can also hover over and I will see the actual pixels. This one is 1200 by 800, which is a pretty good sized image. Remember, if either one of those two legs is smaller than say 300 pixels, then that's gonna be a really small picture and you're gonna wanna find something larger. But when you've got it, remember you're going to do a right click, save image as, and you're gonna wanna save it to your desktop. I've already saved some images, so I can go right into Photoshop. I'm going to mash together this picture of the owl with this cute little kitty. So I'm going to open up my owl picture. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. And I'm going to go to File and Open my cat picture. It is in my desktop. Where is it? There we go, cat. So now I've got my cat open in this tab, and I've got my owl open on that tab. First things first, I'm going to use my quick selection tool here to click and drag. Remember, I'm painting across the inside of the image with the quick, select, quick selection tool. Photoshop is doing the major part of the work here as it's looking for its edges. And I'm kind of going quickly. You're going to want to take your time to get a good selection. When you're ready, I'm going to do Control C to copy that. Go back over to my other, Control V to paste it in, and Control T to transform. I know I'm going to need to make it smaller. I know that I'm going to kind of want to adjust a little bit this way, but this can be kind of hard to figure out how and where to place your second image. This is a really helpful tool of something to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the opacity right over here, okay? So what that's going to do is it's going to be able to see through the cat some, I'm going to do just a little more, so that I can see the owl and the cat at the same time. This will allow you to kind of line up their eyes and get this, the, the shape of their head or the way that they're looking just right. So my eyes aren't going to line up exactly. I'm going to change just a little bit more of a tilt, maybe just a little bit bigger. Now I can go back to my opacity and turn it back up. And as I look at it there, I think I need just a little bit bigger too. There, that's what I'm going to go with for my mashup. Now I'm going to use another tool that's new to us today. I'm on this layer that I've just created, the cat layer, and I'm going to use this clipping mask right down here. It's that rectangle with the circle in the middle. When I click on that, you'll see it creates a clipping mask layer here. And now what I can do is I can use like my brush tool. I want to make sure I'm on the black, which I am. And now if I click and drag, I'm not really erasing. I'm just um, 
blending back to the original picture. So I'm blending back to the owl. And what I can do with this brush is I can change the opacity of this brush as well, so that I'm not changing all of the pixels at once. Okay, so it's a subtle blending. I'm just changing right now 29% of the pixels at a time back to the owl. So it kind of allows you to see a little bit of the cat and a little bit of the owl at the same time. You kind of get a good feeling for when you want to click and when you want to do brush strokes. But you can use that clipping mask to really blend those two different animals together. I tried doing those ears and I don't think I like that. I'm going to do Control Z to bring that back. Just want to get a little more feathers, a little less fur. And again, you can really take your time with this. I'm going a little bit quicker on my demo, but I can start to blend those together. When you are happy with what you have, remember, you are going to want to save your work. We're going to be coming back to these and we're going to be adjusting some of the color and tint. I'm going to show you the dodge tool and the burn tool to change the brightness or darkness. So remember, you're going to want to save so that you can come back. To save so that you can come back, you're going to file, you're going to save as, and you're going to want to give it a different name. I've got owl. I'm going to turn this to owl1. That way I won't rewrite over my original owl photo. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And then I can come back and continue working next time. And I keep all of my layers and my adjustments. We'll be back to this again next time. Have a good day creating your cool mashups.